It was supposed to be a peaceful protest. It's devastating. Says Al Porter, who leads a group that has rallied alongside Black Lives Matter several times in Cleveland. But Porter tells me his heart wept for the officers who died last night. The very same way he mourned the death of two black men in Baton Rouge and Minnesota. You have to feel for the families of those police officers because those police officers' families are feeling the same effects that we feel in the community all the time. Now Porter says protester and police safety is at the top of his mind at the RNC. And Cleveland police have already said Dallas will leave an impact on how they patrol. This is definitely going to raise the barometer. National security expert Tim Dimoff said copycats will be a number one concern. He tells me sniper protection was already part of the plan. That was already in place. The question is, will they add a few more? Probably will, just because of what happened. Meanwhile, Dimoff said he was not surprised to see several departments move to two-man patrols. You're going to see walking on eggshells, but you're going to see a strong determination by law enforcement across this country. Porter says his group still plans to protest along with other anti-police brutality groups. But now, one of his focuses will be maintaining the peace. What just happened is a tragedy last night, but it can ultimately destroy a whole lot of positive, more powerful messages that could come through.